Hi, I'm Drew Cook and welcome to Let's Go Shopping. Well, goodness me, can you believe this? This is one of our last shows for the year. It's just flown by, hasn't it? But look, we're actually going to reflect back on 2015 in real estate with Malcolm Cameron, of course, part of the fantastic Cameron team, Kay and Malcolm. Malcolm, lovely to have you with us. Always nice to be here, Jude. Thanks, yeah. Malcolm. What has 2015 shown you about Christchurch in real estate? It just shows them, I think Kay always says the same thing, the market's always changing. We, we have... We have ups and downs, but literally month by month it changes. So it, it's just showing us that it's, I don't know how to put it, it's just an interesting market. Yeah, yeah sure. We've been extremely busy and really, really appreciate that. And we appreciate the fact that people trust us and entrust us with selling their house. Mm. Uh, I know it's a real estate, I always say to people, I'm a real estate agent, trust me, and they laugh. But <laughs> it's actually really nice when people do. Yeah, it's really important. But I said it's just been an up and down year, but probably more ups than, than downs. Yeah, lovely. Where do you see, where do you see us kind of going for 2016? Do you think the the trend of um, auctions, because you've been very strong with your auctions, yeah. haven't you? Do you think that's something that will continue? Yeah, Malcolm? it's quite pre earthquakes. I think it was in, not 100 percent, but it was only about 11 percent of auctions of properties that were listed with Harcourts. Now we're running up around 30 percent so it's nearly three times the number of auctions. Wow that's a huge difference. And what we're finding is that people are more acceptant of it so mm. instead of turning up and going oh it's an auction we're actually getting people now turning up saying where is all the information you know they want it to be an auction because then they can be in the auction room and they can actually see what other people are doing so it's a lot more transparent. What is your preferred way of selling a property? <laughs> the best way to get the best money. Oh, <laughs> so I love it. <laughs> Brilliant. And we are, look, yep. we, we probably run, gee, go back two years, we're probably 50% auction. This year we're maybe 30 or 40%. But we literally do. We, we sit down and try to work out what's the best way to get the most money. And part of that is that sometimes, and that's what I'm saying, every month things change. Sometimes people won't come to an auction. Sometimes they won't come to a deadline. So the market just changes. You mm -hmm. need to not, so it's not just picking the sales method, it's picking what's happening in the market at the time. You've got to be very flexible then as a real estate agent and a successful one, as yeah. you guys are. And that's the difference we have. Between the two of us, mm -hmm. I'd like to think that one of us will get on with, with our vendor and yes. our owners. And, and we are flexible. It just allows us to, to run the business. And, you know, Some of us can go away on holiday and for a couple mm -hmm. of weeks and some of us can stay and vice versa. So and of course, well. I do remember Kay saying how delightful it was you put a couple of first home buyers in their home. That must be a oh, really lovely thing. It is. And it's, yeah, people, oh, that's, the, that's the fun side of it. You, you get people into properties and they laugh and, and oh, it's just great. And that's the, that's actually the joy of doing it. Yeah. Thanks, Malcolm. Very Merry Christmas to and you. And a Merry Christmas to you and to the viewers out there. And yeah, back again next year. We'll see you 2016. Thanks, Thanks. Malcolm. Harcourt's Vision Real Estate Limited, you'll find them at 127 Farrington Avenue in Bishopdale. You can contact Malcolm on 027 525 or alternately contact the office on 359 4370. Auto Sound and Security, of course, is down in Gasson Street. They've got a fantastic, I always want to say monkey or koala. It's actually a giraffe out the front. It's not even remotely similar to the other two animals. I can hear you Easy. laughing in the background <laughs> there. That it's bizarre. I always think of them as a, it always goes through my head first, the other two animals, and then I get to a giraffe. Now, Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. The goose is pretty fat. Good. But some folk haven't got the gifts sorted. Oh dear. Just yet. How can you help with okay. that? Gift vouchers make it easy. It's a simple. People can come in, give a bit of money toward a new stereo or some speakers or whatever a family member now, just been dreaming about. What a fantastic idea. And of course, these can be made out to any denomination. Absolutely. Brilliant. Yes. Okay. What it a takes away idea. all the hassle yes. because often not everybody knows what is going to be best for the particular car. Sure. And so the family member can come in and have a look at the stereo or speakers. And you've got some great ones here too. Oh, yes. What yes. are you predominantly selling? Uh, stereos that have got Bluetooth in them for hands free phoning and okay. music streaming. And yep. music streaming? Yep. Wow. So no we need... can even do it all from our car today, can't we? Isn't yeah. that phenomenal? Yes, yep. 
goodness me. So hey. make life very, very easy, be good citizens, and have a lot of enjoyment. Well, I must admit, look, for coming and getting something like this from a female's perspective, I wouldn't have a clue where to start, but from having met you, you're so friendly, and you make it so much fun that I would highly recommend it to anybody. Thank you. I really we, would. We do not do male macho, whatever it is that you would like, Absolutely. so be it. And you can ask as many questions yes. as you want in that process yes. as well. And we don't do out. high pressure or anything like no, that. It's not in our nature. No, which mm. is lovely. Now you've got a beautiful, fastidiously clean workshop out the back here where oh, everything yes. can be put in. Yes, excellent. And you also do car alarms. We've we do. touched on that in the we past. Have. Yes. And, um, a huge peace of mind, uh, and they don't need to cost the earth, but the criminals are having a field day. They oh, continue. I bet they are. Yes, it's only a week ago, a gentleman pulled in with his big ute, and he had had eight thousand dollars of tools stolen the previous oh, night. Oh God! Mm. And for how much money can they stop that happening? Oh, that was a fairly sophisticated alarm system, but a, a, a normal car, so five to seven hundred dollars. Yeah, right. Yes. Yep. For all that peace of mind, it's got to be worth it. Look at all this incredible. The brand that you carry? Uh, Alpine, Pioneer, Sony, Fusion, that's for the stereo, and Rockford Fosgate for stereos, and then Alarms, that's, that's uh, uh, ABS, Mongoose, yes. Goodness mm. me, mm. make sure you come on down here and see Pat and the team, incredibly fastidious. Fast Studiously clean area here <laughs> and also just make it so simple for you. Guy, I got a real stutter on then, didn't I? Christmas is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I think my goose is well fat. <laughs> Auto Sound and Security, 37 Gasson Street, 3652360. Autosound.co.nz. Could only be one place with melons like this, and that's a crazy oh, day. It's brilliant, brilliant. Look at that. That's nice, beautiful watermelon. Beautiful. Man, that's it mm, it is beautiful. It looks really yeah. quite dense as yeah, well. Is, yeah. We'll get it. That's still straight. We'll get it in New Zealand in mid January. You know what I mean? Mid January? It should be about mid January. What are you yeah. trading now, sweetheart? Right, right, right. I've got to read here because I can't remember. Um, 8.30 to 6 is our normal hours. And on Wednesday the 23rd, we're at 7 to 7, and the 24th, 7 to 5. Close early on Christmas Eve. Okay, Christmas Eve, and then and what are you And we close Boxing Day, and uh, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and uh -huh. back, back open, back on the 27th. You're oh, back on the 27th? Yep. What yep. time do you open then? Because uh, you know people will be starving by there. 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Back at oh, 9 o'clock. And then we'll be closed for a couple of days, New Year's Day and the 1st. Oh, okay, New yeah. Year's Day? Yeah, and okay. the 1st, and then the rest of the time we're open. Yeah, okay. Fine. Yeah, so no, so. Easy. Look at all the beautiful fruits that are coming in. Yep, it is. I'm yeah, just going to hang on to my melons here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Gross, yeah. this one's like a bowling You're not going to flog that, are you? I hope not. Well, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I might get used to it under my arm. <laughs> yes. So, so when we come back, you know, about the 10th of January, we'll be on New Season's Apples. About the 10th of January? So okay. people don't realise we start on New Season's Apples again then. Dave, I always love this section of oh, yeah, your... Yeah, tropical. I just, yeah, I love this section. Yeah, Look at your looking. coconuts. It's not... Uh, they're out of Fiji, then. They're are Fiji. they? It's not that exciting. It's not been really... Oh, I'll, I'll be sucking new. out of those, Sunshine, yeah. with gin yeah. mixed in with oh, them. No. Hey, Look at got, that! Yeah, we've got the... Um, the um, um, this, Pomelos? Um, Pomelos, yeah. That's actually what grapefruit comes from, yeah. So originally it was, it was a palm aloe. Look so, at yeah. the size of yeah, it. Yeah, they'll just come in. Yeah, they're coming from California. So. And these dragon fruits are dragon absolutely fruit, yeah, beautiful. Right. Uh, they magnificent? Vietnamese, Vietnamese dragon fruit. Yeah, I mean, uh, these make a beautiful centre display yeah, on a table. Colour, oh, beautiful colours. Absolutely yeah, this, magical. Yeah, this, yeah. Great. It's lovely to see yeah, those yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. And of course the old monkey bananas. Oh, yes, who? yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, really, you've got to have your bananas. Um, we've got a full range of stone fruit. After Christmas it really starts coming in. New Year, okay. uh, we'll have, yeah, it really, and it will come down in price too. And you don't think the hail that we've had will have damaged it no, too much? No, no, but it damaged lettuce. Locally, lettuce was damaged, oh, did shredded, it? so we'll have to rely on Nelson lettuce. So okay. just a little bit. Uh, yeah, very unfortunate. So, um, it was but, unfortunate, um, wasn't we're it? We're going to be short on lettuce anyway because we've had dry spell, a lot right. of wind, and it's burned a lot of the young lettuce, and then it's yeah. shredded with the hail on Sunday. So okay. you can't you can't win. So you can't win them all. all? Okay. Well, we don't need lettuce no, in a salad, no, do no, we? No. We can still make beautiful salads without it. Yes, that's Let's true. Let's be honest. You should come on down here because every single day the specials are changing, and they will continue to do that over the festive the season. Yeah. 
Do you want to say a happy new year to everyone? Yeah, everyone have a good new year. And um, I hope you have a Thank good Thank you, darling. Year. I hope you do too. You're not hidden away? Yeah, I am. Are you? Where are you hidden Boxing to? Boxing Day, Fiji. Oh, pretty sure. Signing I out. To. I can't afford to. <laughs> Get him a suitcase. <laughs> Crazy Dave's, yes, you'll find him down in Blenheim Square on Blenheim Road. Loads of parking out the front here. And just remember, it's excellent quality fruit and vegetables at a very fair price. Edria Mowers and Chainsaws is where we're at now. And of course, we are with Linda. Now, Linda's normally flat out at the back doing all the book work. But of course, behind every successful man is an even better woman. <laughs> Isn't that the case, Art? Yeah, well, with an arm trick, so of course that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. What are your hours? OK, we're going to be closed over the Christmas period. Everyone wants time out like, like they should, OK, because okay. we've worked hard throughout the year. So on the 24th, um, the, we're open just for reduced hours. It's mainly just been of a shout for fellas to clean up, allow people to come in and pick up their gear okay. that they've had service from us, so they've got it over the holiday period, and then we're closed for the win uh, for the not for the winter. For the winter. <laughs> <laughs> it, feels like, it feels like it. Just for, the, just for the Christmas period, up until the well, open again, normal hours again on the fifth. Okay. Um, on so we just like Linda and I, just like and behalf of the team, would like to take this opportunity to say oh, thank, thank you. you very much to everybody that supported us over the over the previous years, um, and we are uh, very thankful for your business, and we hope you all have a safe and a merry Christmas. Yeah. And enjoy it, and uh, hopefully you've got all your machines all tuned up. If you're yeah. at home working, or you've taken the machines to the batch, hopefully all's working well for you. So you and up. while we're talking about well-oiled machines, Linda, all the very, very best of luck to you with the big Picton race you've oh, got, thank you. big triathlon you've got. <laughs> yeah. yeah, amazing lady. Does, very all, does all the exercise for the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, we're going to pop out the back and actually meet yep. the crew. I'll introduce you to the crew that are uh, working tirelessly behind the scenes okay. and making everything work. So I'll just round a few up, and we'll. Uh, Introduce you. Okay, thanks. Great. Thank See you, you, Linda. Thank you. <laughs> right, what do you got to do to line your crew up? <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> I've stopped, I've stopped them from working for the out so we can give you a quick look behind the scenes as to who does all the work around, around here. Absolutely. So obviously I'm at the front, we've got um, the main mechanic Ivan here. He's the one that won that uh, award for the yes. outstanding service. Yes. And then we have alongside him is Robert. AKA front, Smiley. On uh, front counter. Then we have our young lads not long been with us. <laughs> Corbin. <laughs> Sorry. And beside him we've got Mike and my boy Stephen and Lucan, this young lad's helping us out over the um, school holiday period. I didn't even recognise Stephen Man, he's grown up, he? has grown up, yes, all the lads do grow up, and hopefully they won't all be, want to become mechanics. It's good to see you got your mother's good looks, Stephen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, but all the, all the hard work behind the scenes, the workshop's our specialty and where we do all our work, and these are the team that, that help me out. Absolutely. That's fantastic. And it's yep. nice to be the front person, but it's only as good as those behind the scenes. Yep, very much it? so, yep. Yeah. So, Merry Christmas from everyone, and let's hope you have a good Christmas and a new year. On the count of three, we'll do Merry Christmas. <coughs> hey, three. Merry Christmas. Oh, God, are they well trained. I think they're going to need a few brewskis <laughs> after this in payment. <laughs> Thank you very much. Merry Christmas from Edria Mowers and Chainsaws. Edria Mowers and Chainsaws, you'll find them at 237 Westminster Street in Christchurch. Telephone number is 366 3924. I'm now out at Hornby Shoe Outlet, joined by Sandra. Nice oh. to be in your shop. Yes. <laughs> Instead of Wairiki. I seem now, to be between both. You are, aren't you? You're very much between both. Yeah. And it's great that both are going so well, yeah, Sandra, as well. Really well. Sandra, now, 23rd of December today, it's not too late oh, no. to get in, is it? No, to get presents for Christmas. Absolutely. You do have gift vouchers. Gift vouchers, yes. So. And, of course, let's look at some nice comfy shoes for over the holiday period. Yes, jandals. And jandals, yep. absolutely. Well, these ones really would take you Anywhere. right through, wouldn't they? I know, because you've got, like, your built-up sole, so you're not dead flat, and then the front as well, really, really cushioned. Velcro. Easy to get into, but that's quite dressy. So you it could is. actually go out walking and then go out for lunch, or and that's in the black as well, just with a wee bit of patterned leather at the front. Very nice. Yeah, they don't just look like no. hitchhiker shoes, no. do they? And then there's the toe ones with the studs oh, and the orange nice. and black. So they're quite cool. Yeah, and that's are, got actually. Velcro again. So you can I mean, these are great for um, beach weddings yeah. and the likes as well, yep. aren't they? Dress them up, dress them down, whatever. Yep. That's like just that a slip on. Too. Yep, that's yeah, that's a slip on, cute. so you don't actually have to undo that one. That's easy peasy. And also the vel uh, the patent one, so that's a bit dressier. Ah, oh, great idea. And that's got the velcro at the side. Well, it's nice if your feet swell. Yep, too. Oh, and here's one just with a bit of blingy bling on it. Oh, lovely. Yeah. 
So they're just, and they are really, really cushioned underneath, which is really good. Now, can we just have a little look at these bags? These yep. caught my eye before. Now, these are great just to have your, your keys, a oh, wallet, yep. Yep. Your, your phone. lipstick, absolutely. And they extend too, so you can wear them over your, I like the it. front of you, so yep. you're not having to have it hanging up your shoulder. People are wanting to, or women are wanting to do that more and more, aren't they? Yes. Now, look at these super dupe, duper sketches in the uh, flip flops. Mm. How nice are they? Yep, they're really cushioned. And it's good with the sketches because they're oh all washable, God, which is that. really good. It'll fold, fold up in your suitcase and you wouldn't even know it's there. <laughs> oh my God, that's incredible. Go -go mat yeah. on the bottom. Two colourways? Two colourways in the jandals. And then you've got the one, the um, go walks with the go -go mat. And they've also got the spongy sole, so extra mm. cushioning. And you're, you're like on air. And I've it's actually so noticed nice. a few of the mums from school are wearing these and they look really, yeah. really smart. Too. And it's also got memory foam in the back. Oh. God. So that's for the old heel that gets a bit. Well, that's blistered. walking on a cloud, isn't yeah, it? Look it at is. your colour selection out of those. Hornby Shoe Outlet, you'll find them in the Branston Centre out at Hornby. The telephone number is 3492936. We're now joined by George Rock, of course, with A1 Movers out here at Horswell. George, great to be with you and, and good to know that you're feeling better. Yes, had a bad week last you week. Did. We had a busy week and oh. had that awful cold where it gets you in the chest, doesn't it? Yes, big time. And uh, I talked to a nurse yesterday and she says there's a lot of that going around. Um, but we, I put an, an extra man on. All I did was drive the truck. I couldn't let the customers down. Um, and I tried to stay out of the way without spreading it around too. So. Uh -huh, good on you. <laughs> and see, this is the advantage of having your own business as well. That, of course, there's that incredible loyalty there to your clients. You can't just ring the boss and say, sorry, no, I'm not coming in today. Ab <laughs> absolutely. You don't want to let your customers down. They've yeah. still got to move regardless. That's it. But yeah. you, were, you put all the systems in place to be able to keep the whole yeah. show running. Yeah, exactly. Now, we're looking at your three different size trucks today. The first one here, what would you use this one for, George? Now, this is the wee van. Uh, as you can see, it's a lot smaller than a normal truck, but it has its, its advantages where there's a, a driveway up a hill like we did last week, a couple of days ago, yeah. up uh, Centaurus Road. You know what uh, Kashmir's like. Yes. Um, there's some billy goat tracks up oh, there, isn't Oh, some billy goat tracks, and this was perfect for ferrying the... Uh, the big items down to the truck at, at the bottom of the Brilliant. drive. And so we're up and down um, and that just saves a lot of time yes. and a lot of effort. Yeah, brilliant uh, idea. And it's good for little jobs too, you know, just like little deliveries, mm -hmm. um, one-off things, things like that. So. And of course the one here behind us, that one's the one that we normally see, that's all battened in the carpet that was all that's engineered the properly. carpet, mm -hmm. yep, and that's our normal furniture truck which does a house lot. Right. Um, it may not look big, but it, oh, believe me, amazing. it's the way you stack it. Oh, oh um, absolutely. Yeah, you can get three, four bedrooms in there, no problem. Goodness me. And next to it, we've got the container. Next to it, we've got the container truck. Uh, this is the truck uh, you'll see coming up your drive if you're going into storage. Right, okay. How long can so, people go into storage with you, George? Uh, well, any time, you know, you can go up to five years, ten years, wow. whatever you like, okay. really. Okay, all right, um, brilliant. You know, if you're on an overseas trip, yep. you've got to get out of your house. You've, you've had enough of living in New Zealand for a while. So nice, come me, and we'll nice. Take care of your so Put all, all your away. possessions <laughs> yeah. in there and you can yep. go off and enjoy yourself footloose and fancy free. Sounds yeah, fantastic. Yeah, you can have one, two, three, four, five containers, however you want, you know, how many. Sounds great, so, so if you'd like to head away, <laughs> or if you are just moving. Gosh, that seems awfully boring now, just moving. Make sure you give George and his team at A1 Movers a call. A1 Movers, 82 Milnes Road in Horsball, phone 322-4404. And lucky for us here, of course, in the South Island, not only just Canterbury, Duchenne has got us covered for dental emergencies over the festive season. We have, we have. Yay, yes. John. So uh, it's, it's a skeleton service, and um, uh, you've met Mike. So Mike's uh, one of the technicians on, on call. We always have a clinician on call as well. Okay, brilliant. Um, and it's more for emergency work, you know, breakages than, than general work. Okay. Um, so uh, there's also GE Dental uh, around, 
Mm. There's um, barely have for uh, general emergency uh, toothaches as well. Okay. Um, so oh, uh, there is always somebody around. So for us, look it looks up in the uh, yellow yellow pages. All for right. those of, of, of us that still use the yellow pages <laughs> or, or online, online, and yes. uh, just dial our number, and okay. that'll just automatically. There's, there's probably a two second delay uh, for it to click through to whoever's on call. Oh, okay, and, thanks. Um, so we like to like for you to speak to a person as opposed. I to think it's always issue. a really jolly good idea to get those numbers written down yeah. before this festive season starts, because when the accident happens, you're just in such a panic, yeah. you're not even thinking, yeah. are you? Yeah, absolutely. So if you've got all those emergency numbers written down, yeah. and on your cell phone these days, them. you can yeah, oh, you can put you can put them. Of course you can. Up. Yeah, absolutely. So that's that's one of the biggest things is that uh, come the twenty uh, fourth of December, that you know, we're all yes. waiting for the big man, uh, big man in the red suit. That yeah, you know, we are there in the background if you, if you need us. Yeah, thanks so very just, much, John. And, and make use of that. What would be some of the key things you'd be telling people um, that are finding trouble maybe with the dentist that they've got over Christmas that they can be rectifying in the new year? Well, a lot of it just eases. You know, uh, some some people have, uh, have lost their tooth, whether one tooth or, or all of their teeth, uh, and it's very important for us. Well, we, we, we channel a lot of energy into uh, getting people comfortable and functionally before we... Uh, uh, close, close down, um, yeah. and we we close down just uh, over that that Christmas New Year period. So it's about three or four days, uh, but it, as I said, there's always somebody on call uh, to to see emergencies, things like that. People that really need to be seen. Sure. Uh, and then I think it's about the fifth of January. Uh, there's three or four come back, and then the rest of us roll out a wee bit more slowly. Yeah. Do you find do you find that the bridges break because it's a smaller piece? Do you find that they, they tend to sort of break a little yeah, bit more uh, easily than full set of dentures? Yeah, not so much bridges break, um, especially if you're wearing a night guard. Uh, you know, it's a splint that goes over it. Okay. A, lot, a lot of uh, crown bridge work will break because of grinding, uh, ah, so okay. you've got to protect that. But you know, it's just general uh, toothache and things like that, that emergency work. Well, very yeah. Merry Christmas to you. Well, you too, and thank uh, all the CTV uh, viewers and, and CTV for helping, helping us during the year. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks, it has. It's always fun with your job. Yeah. Dish and Dental Services, you'll find them at 236 Springfield Road in Merivale, 375 Dushen The portable emergency power pack, yes, the super mini booster. We're back with Paul again here, out at Lineside Motors in Rangiora. I'd just like to start off by saying as well that we have never had a product on Let's Go Shopping that has caused such a sensation as this super mini booster. Make sure if you've got a vehicle, you need one. Paul, great to be here with you, and of course, what a huge success the Super Mini Booster is, is proving itself. Take us through exactly what a Super Mini Booster is, please. Yes, thank you very much. The Super Mini Booster is a portable emergency power pack. It's only tiny, at 4.8 kgs. Um, it lives on charge all the time. It has no memory, so it can just stay on charge all the time in your car and your cigarette lighter. So it just sits on the floor there, and when you turn the car off, it normally turns itself off and it's always there if you need power to start your car. Can I just say, Paul, mine actually sits underneath my driver's seat and just threads through dead easy. And of course, all the, these new vehicles now have actually got an, an extra, like, um, cigarette lighter, as we call them, in the back of the vehicles, like a cameraman's. He just keeps his plugged into that. Fabulous. Yes, brilliant. That's easy. It's, it's a nice, easy way to hide it away. Um, and it comes with it's got some nice, bright LED lights on the front of it. Yes. So when you're under the bonnet and it's dark, trying to jump start something or change a tyre, you've always got the lights at the side of the car. We've even got some flashing ones there if you feel a bit unsafe with cars coming towards you on the side of the road, you want to, you want to warn them. So um, uh, but the other thing is as well, Paul, I love the way these are so tiny. Mm -hmm. They don't feel too big for a woman to be handling handling these things. No, that's correct. They're nice and light and they they're are. very small and we've made new gel leads out now which are very, very soft and makes it nice and easy. No big stiff jumper leads anymore, you oh, know. Right. It's Absolutely. really nice and really flexible. So really if people have got a vehicle they need one of these. 
in the hey, story. Yes, well, normally if it's a contractor, he's in his truck like this, going to site, he's pulling up and his digger won't start, or his plate compactor, or his, you know, small trucks won't go. Um, they just pull this out, boom, and away they go. They don't have to try to pull it up into a tight spot with the jumper leads from one car to the other, and two alternators fighting each other, which is not a good sign sometimes. But Well, a lot of the modern cars, they can't do that because of the, the computer chip that's in them. That's exactly right. It completely right, yeah. jiggers it, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yes, it does. You yeah. can do this solely by yourself. That's you need no other vehicle, you need no other person to be able to do it. No, that is correct. That's what I like, yeah. and the safety in that as yes. well. For yes. women, yep. on their own, there's a huge amount of safety yep. in it. Well, we've got a lot of girls, a lot of ladies that use this booster. Fathers buying it for their daughters, putting it in the car because they yeah, don't no want idea. their daughter stuck in it. Come out of work on a night shift or something can and, uh, and, and and find that they've got a flat battery there. Yeah. Do you know I've actually found two people on the side of the road with the cars front to front since I've had mine in my car and I'm snickering as I'm driving past. I would have offered, but they were already in the already process. The seat, Cameraman yeah. actually helped a gentleman. He was in a really awkward position and couldn't get a car in front of him. He had a massive four-wheel drive and Simon just tootled along with his with his little gadget here, yeah. nice and light and easy, and got him started. So and these things are going to be bigger yeah. than McDonald's, honestly. Oh, well, just for boating and camping and fishing and, you know, everyone's using them for a electric fishing reels or you know out in the bush you just plug in your, your cigarette lighter for your iPhone your laptops and bits and pieces like that it's just fantastic and I know as well the um, GoPros we had the GoPro plugged into it as well in the back of the car brilliant you don't have to have your car going because it's already charged That's right. explain yeah. about this no memory well the no memory is still a lead acid battery right so it yep. doesn't actually have a memory so you can drain it down and then you can start and power it straight back up or if it's only half flat you can plug it straight in so it doesn't matter it just got no memory so it doesn't matter if it's flat or half flat or fully charged you just can plug it in and leave it plugged in all the time and it will just go to green and it will just sit there happy it's like a freezer I suppose if you turn the freezer off what's going to happen to the meat inside the freezer you know it's not going to be that good after a few months so it's good and always good to keep it charged okay, okay. and it can sit we've got an on off switch here so if you want you can turn it off and that isolates the battery okay so the battery can sit there in dormant mode okay okay for up to three to four months is fine okay. we are getting longer than that out of it by sitting but and then you turn it on to charge okay so okay. it will accept the charge only when the switch is turned on Best I check that mine's turned on. Yes, that's a good <laughs> I thing. It into Did you the read cigarette? the instructions? Oh, typical Gemini. Hey, no, wow. no. Come on over and show me this here. Fantastic old Toyota Land Cruiser here that's being done up. I love these. But are we going to try and get this one started or something? Yeah. Are we? Okay. Yeah, we we'll get it going, eh? Yeah, um, why not? It's been sitting in storage for a bit. We just pushed okay. it back over there from a, having a flat battery. Yeah. So I'll just uh, race away and grab a super mini booster out of this car just here. Okay, yep, you grab your super booster. So that's come straight off charge. Yep, straight off charge into here. Clip one on. Hey, but I'd love to see you start this one. Oh, can I? Hey. I'd love to. Am I allowed? Get into it. Oh, excellent. Fave little car in the whole world, this. Can you get in there? Yep, I'm in here. Portable emergency power pack, that super mini booster, 0800 483 492. That number again, 0800 483 492.